Hey everyone, so today I'll be going over um, it's my personal feelings about the Mini Educator. Uh, this is a e-collar for dogs, it's a training tool. This specific one that I have is actually the ET300, um, as you can see on the back here. This I believe has a half a mile uh, radius, uh, this antenna, extends up to half a mile and can send a signal up to half a mile and uh, it is also waterproof. So let's kind of get into this. Um, pretty much an e-collar nowadays is not the same shock collar that a lot of individuals training their dogs in the past have used. This actually, uh, just right off the bat, this actually emits, doesn't actually shock the animal. It actually, through these, um, through these uh, pressure points here, it actually emits a small vibration uh, and you can actually use this uh, to you can use this as the remote to control how strong that vibration is but I want to repeat right off the bat that this is not a shock collar that does not produce any shock the reason I know this is because I actually tried it on myself and I felt exactly what the dog would feel so let's kind of just start off with the actual remote. This is the most important part. The, the, the mini educator is gonna come with a handy uh, little strap here that you can use to put around your hand or your neck, whatever you choose. <clears throat> After bat here, when you're looking at it, uh, this is, right here is the antenna. This right here is the control. This actually controls quite a few things. This actually controls the intensity of the vibration. Also, if you press it down, it uh, locks in that specific level. Okay, so let's go here in the back here. Let's start off with the most important part. The way you want to turn it on is you press and hold the light button. Press and hold it. Let me show you what it looks like. There you go. See when he says on. Now there's a couple of things here to, to mention. Um, first off, uh, the uh, light here at the bottom that's blinking green means that, that the battery is still good. Green is good. Yellow is medium and red is needs to be charged. That 1D that you see pulsating back and forth that's for one dog so this has the option for being programmed to two um, individual collars uh, right now I only have it to one because I only have one dog that nine is the intensity this actually if uh, like I mentioned to you guys earlier you can actually move this up all the way I believe up to 100 um, that's up to 100 now just a word of caution especially when training animals training dogs when you first start using this, and even in the end, you will never, ever, if done correctly, go past the 10. Because this, at this point, is actually used in very specific instances. A lot of times, um, this is used by professionals, uh, from what I remember, for bite work. That's something that the average person training their dog is never, ever going to use, and that's not, a, that's not advisable as well. So a lot of times, uh, what they suggest is just starting off with a very low uh, setting and then you kind of just go up until you feel the dog uh, and until you see that that the dog reacts so that's pretty much the idea of that um, on here oh the, sorry the C the C means that it's continuous so when I press and hold this button right here it's gonna send a signal over to to the collar um, and that as soon as I as long as I keep this pressed and this C is on that is gonna keep on going until I let go of it there's other options where you can change it to uh, M, M, I believe, is momentary. It just sends one little shock um, completely. And so that's why I switch it over to C. So this right here, as mentioned earlier, this right here is uh, the button that you press in order to get uh, to send the, the, um, the vibration. This right here is actually the boost button. When you press this, you can actually set the boost button. This is basically if you want an extra jolt um for whatever reason you can actually set it to whatever it goes so as you can tell here it goes from 9 to 14 so that setting is five extra levels i never personally use it um, one other thing that i actually forgot to mention the way you actually turn on this guy is by using this so if you look at the red button right here you put it right next to that there we go did you see that it blinked green so that means that means now the this is uh this is working so uh, what's gonna happen there's another option here that if you press light see so press it uh, press light once it's a strobe if you press it and leave it on 
it's gonna be a continuous motion. Um, this right here actually, um, this comes with a longer tag. This slip right here is actually longer. So a lot of times what you wanna do is you wanna put it on the dog and then you're gonna wanna correct, you're gonna wanna pretty much cut it off wherever uh, wherever you think is necessary because you don't want it to be hanging around. A lot of times that could be a dangerous uh, item. So going on to the main thing here, um, what you're gonna have right here, oops, these are the contact points. Uh, in the box that it comes with actually has different contact points um, depending on the dog. So if the dog has thicker hair, um, it, you're gonna have a longer point here. If your dog like if your dog has short hair like mine, this actually re was able to reach the skin with no problem. Because a lot of times you want to penetrate through the hair because they're not gonna get they're not gonna feel that vibration when you pull. This is the charger right here. This actually connects into both of them at the same time. What you're gonna want to do is you want to pull this tab here and this tab right here and they connect at the same time and they charge this lasts a good few days um, especially if you turn it off when you don't need it but even the charging when it does charge it takes only about a few minutes so it's not that bad i usually just leave it overnight sometimes uh, but my overall impressions of the product is that it's great it's been a really good useful tool for training my dog uh, my dog has again the dog is not being harmed the dog is not uh the dog does not have any issues afterwards what it what it does help me is uh to be able to continue my obedience training with my dog so if this is something that you guys want if you guys are interested in obedience training i highly highly recommend the mini educator et 300 um, and it always comes at a good price as well all right thanks so much